We often look at results without caring about costs. Though the result might be positive, costs tend to accumulate to the point where investment is no longer convenient. This machine may not eliminate disposal costs for livestock manure, but it certainly optimizes them. Because, as we will see, it all comes down to a matter of space. Especially when looking at costs of handling organic cattle or pig waste, a lot of space is needed. In the past, it used to be fairly easy to reduce those costs, when we followed the philosophy of returning to nature what nature has provided us. This tractor is pulling a machine which spreads liquid manure as plant fertilizer. At times, we forget that, beyond certain limits, nature does not appreciate that we return what we received from it in the first place. In fact, manure is an excellent fertilizer for being rich in nitrogen. However, beyond a certain amount, the plants can no longer absorb the nitrogen and lets it penetrate the soil along with the effluent. Through the soil, the effluents reach the groundwater, and from the groundwater to the rivers, and from the rivers to the sea. And this is the result. In the 1990s, the problem of livestock effluents was identified as becoming particularly dangerous for people, especially in regard to nitrogen leaching the soil and entering the groundwater. Cattle and pig farming were found to be among the main causes of this environmental issue. What aggravates the situation is the high concentration of livestock farms in a small territory. And there are farms with a very large number of animals, which makes things even worse. So there is a problem. If the quantity of nitrogen exceeds a certain amount, the plants cannot absorb it. Together with the effluent, the nitrogen will penetrate the soil. If there is groundwater underneath, the terrain is referred to as vulnerable. Rather than the amount of effluent, it is the concentration of effluents on the ground that matters. A hectare of terrain can bear the manure of 40 pigs. In the past, in Italy, 340 kilograms of nitrogen per hectare were allowed. With the new directive, the maximum allowance is half of that, 170 kilograms. For farmers, this means increased surface areas with the same number of livestock. Another option is to halve the number of livestock, maintaining the same surface area. The third option is to dispose of the effluents on other terrains, but this involves costs for transportation and permits. To make sure we'll get lean, juicy steaks on our plates, the animals spend their life feeding and excreting, day after day. Take China as an example. Chinese people like pork meat. Chinese pigs generate every year a quantity of manure that would fill a one meter deep lake the size of the Netherlands. This gives us an idea of the amount of waste we have to handle. Let's suppose transportation costs five euros per tonne. For a farmer with 5,000 pigs, this means a total of 75,000 euros of waste handling costs in one year. Gli studi sono stati fatti in tanti settori, sia chimico, sia biologico. Chemical, biological and mechanical studies have been carried out. The first thing a farmer can do is use a mechanical separator near the livestock effluent collection tanks. The nitrate directive, which involves all European countries regarding wastewater treatment process, indicates the way to at least trying to gain control over the nitrogen issue.
il liquame zootecnico quando esce dalla stalla è particolare. Livestock manure is particularly liquid when it leaves the cow sheds or pigsties. It has an organic solid concentration of approximately 7 to 10 percent. It is essential, if possible, to avoid spreading this liquid on the fields. To take it away as it is should also be avoided. Mechanical separation has the advantage of generating two phases, a particularly liquid one, which can be used for fertigation, and a solid one with a soil-like consistency which can be used as a fertilizer. In this field, research has followed several paths. WAM Group has given its contribution by developing the SEPCOM machine. Mi ricordo ancora il primo prototipo di Sepcom che facemmo all'inizio di questo grande progetto. I still remember the first Sepcom prototype we put together using some metallic parts and a drive at the beginning of this great project. It was a piece of equipment that had been processed somehow. Di, met di materiale lavorato, abbiamo provato le prime volte lì da noi. The first tests were carried out in our R&D workshop. Quite unsuccessfully, it must be said. In time, we got to the current machine, which I think is more than respectable. L'idea di questa macchina è venuta fondamentalmente dal presidente del nostro gruppo. Basically, the idea of the SEPCOM machine came from our group's president, Vena Marcassini, who pushed our engineers to improve an existing machine which had never really been successful on the market. Modo possibile. In developing the machine, our key points were clear awareness of our goals, perseverance in carrying on with the project, even after quite a few disappointments, and the trust we put in a component in which other manufacturers had little faith, an in-house manufactured engineering polymer. The main innovative aspect of the SEPCOM machine is the use of engineering polymers which have been employed upon the intuition of Viner Marcassini, the president and founder of WAM Group. We were the first to develop such materials which are different from any one of our competitors. For SEPCOM, we have developed processes which other companies were not able to carry out. Rubber screws, specially designed screens and a simple structural design. Mi ricordo ancora la prima Sepcom che ho venduto. I remember very well the first Sepcom sold to a farmer in Cavizzo six years ago. After assembling the machine, we stayed at the farm, had dinner together and told each other our life stories. It is the farmers who are our potential customers for the SEPCOM machine. Being product manager of the SEPCOM division is a complex role to play. It mainly consists in gathering from the market the client's requirements. Then the ability lies in developing from these requirements reliable machines that do the job as expected. We went to check the first machines in field tests. We dismantled them. If a part was broken, we would go back home to replace it in our workshop until the machine was performing as we wanted. SEPCOM è un prodotto che per essere venduto ha bisogno di una rete commerciale abbastanza SEPCOM is a machine that requires a well-structured and complex distribution network. In Italy, we have developed an extensive network of installers across each region. In some areas, with high market potential, we chose some local installers too. 
each farmer is therefore assisted by an installer that speaks his dialect, who shares the same habits, and with whom he might even go to the local bar in the evening. Si ritrovano alla sera a bere al bar e questo gli dà una fiducia in termini di All this helps to build mutual trust regarding product and service. Che non si può avere in nessun altro modo. La rete commerciale all'estero In regard to the international distribution network, we developed a different strategy. First we studied the market. We went to the local fairs, we talked to the farmers and other people in the business. Then we chose a national distributor along with several local distributors who were able to provide assistance on the whole territory. These people are able to build a trustful relationship with the farmers. Green Crop Irrigation is uh, based in Norfolk and uh, my name is Howard Chantry. I'm the UK sales manager for the company. We are in importers and manufacturers of equipment for clean water irrigation, dirty water and slurry. We were so impressed with the Setcom separator because it's unique um, uh, parts which includes the polymer screws and the polymer pressos. This made this separator unique, different to any other separator that's on the market. So therefore we decided to ha handle this and we are now the sole importer for the UK for both agricultural and industrial. When I say industrial, that is the AD application, anaerobic digesters. Un ulteriore fronte di sviluppo. A further development in research has helped the livestock farmers. The possibility of producing alternative renewable energy out of livestock effluents. In the 1990s, a law was issued to stimulate production of renewable energy through a reward system. This allows energy production to have a series of advantages for all types of farming when using corn silage or livestock effluents. The effluents may actually generate less energy than corn silage, but they don't cost anything. The biogas plant reproduces the biological digestion process. By eating up the refuse, bacteria release gas which accumulates. The gas means energy. A lot of energy. The fermented digestate is pumped from the anaerobic digester to a solids-liquid separation process, which has the same objective as with livestock manure. Also in this case, both solid and liquid phase can be reutilized as fertilizer. We are at the experimental farm Unterlindenhof of Hohenheim University. Here we have the possibility to carry out studies on animal husbandry and renewable energy. The plant belongs to the Faculty of Agricultural Sciences of Hohenheim University. The institute has the possibility to do research here. We come here to find answers to specific questions. The plant provides us opportunities to specifically carry out research as in practice because here we also have the opportunity to experiment with things that do not necessarily bring an instant profit. Haben wir durchaus auch die Möglichkeit mal etwas auszuprobieren, was nicht unbedingt sofort Profit abwirft. The plant was designed to carry out research for public institutions and for the private industry. Its purpose is to support the development of technologies to find and create new ones, to bring them forward and then ultimately to convert them swiftly into practice. At the moment they are installing a machine which separates the digestate from the biogas plant into solid and liquid components. It is a separator made by WAM Group from Italy. The objective is to obtain an optimum solids-liquid separation. 
äh, dort eben installiert wird, um eine optimale Trennung festflüssig zu erreichen. In this biogas plant, the digest state is a byproduct which contains nutrients such as nitrogen, phosphor and potash. These nutrients must return to the natural cycle to be reused as fertilizer. As a fertilizer, the digestate is not always suitable in its original structure, so it, it makes sense to separate it into a solid and a liquid form. The solid phase can be either transported over longer distances or it can be supplied as a compost for gardens. Entweder über weitere Entfernungen transportiert werden oder gegebenenfalls auch als Kompost für Gärten. The liquid state can be used for fertigation. Biogas has increased very much in importance in recent years. Currently in Germany we have more or less 8,000 agricultural biogas plants in use. These biogas plants produce an installed capacity of approximately 2.8 gigawatt. Using these biogas plants would allow us to shut down three nuclear power plants. We can ferment sewage, manure, waste products and plant matter. And this is precisely what we do on farms. Plant matter, for example. We grow crops for biogas plants on about 6.6% of the German agricultural land. Through these plants, we produce some 3% of the electricity consumed today in Germany. And we produce etwa 3% des heutig verbrauchten Stroms in Deutschland über Biogasanlagen. Es zeichnen sich durchaus auch schon Grenzen ab bei der Produktion. There will be still a certain increase in biogas production in the future. However, we can already see the limits. We cannot arbitrarily expand the acreage withdrawing agricultural land for food production in favor of biogas production. In den nächsten Jahren vornehmen müssen, um die Effizienz der Biogasanlagen zu steigern. We will build more biogas plants. Production will increase, but not as it did in the last eight years. In the near future, we have to focus on new developments to increase the efficiency of our biogas plants in order to obtain more gas out of these limited sources of organic matter. This includes new technical solutions. It also includes a better use of the nutrients, which is one of the functions of these separators. In future, also the use of a wider variety of raw materials can definitely be expected. There are a lot of materials that can be composted or used as a source of energy. Raw materials that are not yet used at the moment, although they could be. To the same purpose, it is essential employing or developing optimised technologies. We have to focus on the fact that it makes sense exploiting these materials. Take horse manure, grape mark or olive pomace. These are materials that should be reused from an energetic point of view and the remaining digestate, rich in nutrients, can be used as fertilizer. Our task implies interfacing with customers worldwide. And this means integrating in a single machine an entire range of market requirements. This is possible thanks to targeted in-depth analysis and a detailed study of the distribution network in the areas where the machine is to be sold. Also, we from WAM Group often visit farmers to make them feel close to our company and to show our presence on the market. In tutti i mercati. Our typical customers are mainly 98% farmers uh, all across the UK uh, doing all types of farming, uh, be it horticultural, agricultural. Uh, we also deal with the industrial department as well. In a smaller way, our main uh, fright is, is farmers, both for arable crops, clean water, irrigation, but also for livestock farmers with the handling of slurry and also the separation of slurry. At Lutzer Tramia we are currently running 1100 cows and a thousand young stock. 
We've been using the septum separator for nine months now and it's been very successful in enabling us to handle our uh, manure more effectively. I am, will be looking to use the separator to provide recycled bedding for some of the cows here. What we're finding with the uh, Sepcon separator is that uh, the, well, the benefits being that uh, we, we are getting a, a very um, high dry matter um, solid that's coming out, um, which we find composts a lot better than uh, than other separators that we that, that I've had experience with, um, and also the uh, um, it, it works extremely well within the AD plants. Uh, this is an agricultural plant. It's a we're doing it in two stages. It's a 500 kilowatt plant at the moment. We've just got another 800 kilowatt engine coming. We feed maize, chicken muck, grass, and some whole crop, and some stock feed potatoes. Uh, and we use the Sepcon to separate out the solids, and it does a very good job for us. The future for SEPCOM in the UK looks very good indeed. The product, after now we've been handling it now for three years, has just proved to be very successful. It's opening up new markets for us. We've obviously got the livestock market on normal slurry. We've also gone into the AD industry, supplying it to the uh, AD plants. But also we now have them separating food waste and other parts of uh, industry that's coming along. Uh, at the moment we have one on test which is uh, looking after separating wood waste and also here behind me is a new bedding machine which is uh, to uh, be able to make the dry part of the SEPCOM totally dry for it to be bedded onto cows. So on this machine you've got extra separation with a longer screens and heavier pressos. This makes the um, solid content up to a dry matter of 36.4. This is then spread loosely onto the cubicle housing and this is very soft to the cow and because it's spread slowly and, and thinly we do not get a heat build up. So this is another step forward for SEPCOM in the UK and all over the world regarding expansion of the SEPCOM machine. The future scenario is certainly complex. The fundamental steps will be first consolidating the installers and clients market all over Europe and then counting on a continuous evolution of our machines, reaching new overseas markets that seem to have a high potential. Being the manufacturer, it is essential that we shake hands with the farmer and make sure our machine works properly. Regardless of the customer's nationality, he has to know that WAM is always there to offer a piece of advice, ready provide any assistance needed.